ladies, it's Eleanor Smith, Networking Nelly here for you. So some of you have asked Megan, why did you create this Power Partner Archetypes quiz and such? What I've learned throughout my life, what I know is that women in community thrive. Thousands of years ago, it was just plain and simple part of life. Women collaborated and came together in community all the time, from raising the children to tending to the fields and the crops and everything in between. So this is where the problems lie. It's difficult to collaborate when you're approaching things from only your own perspective or point of view. And so Megan created the four power partner archetypes along with the fabulous Manette Riordan. And I created Nelly's collaborative boot camp, a social experiment. And I think you're gonna like it, ladies. So I took four very different ladies to my homestead so that they could be in community, away from all the hubbub and the hullabaloo of business and life. And we awakened the natural instincts of being in community, vulnerability, and support. Their first task was to go network the way that society had taught them to. And I gave them no guidance just like I used to play with my husband and send him to the grocery store with no list, just to see how he would fare on his own. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh, hey, I'm having an event later and you guys should definitely come. We're gonna connect, it's gonna be amazing. Hi, hi. Yeah, I'm having an event later and you guys should yeah. really come because we're all going to connect and it's going to be so fun, okay? Hi, hi. Oh my gosh. Hi, I'm having an event later and you guys should totally come because we're going to connect and it's going to be great. Bring your dog. Hey, you should have one too. Okay, just, yeah, bring them. Gosh, I just really want everyone to be super clear on who I am and what I do so that they want to hang out with me later. I've literally handed out flyers to everyone I've seen about an event I'm hosting so that we can connect after. I've got the top three things I need ready for my business. My one sheet, my introduction paragraph, and my team members are ready to track all the results. I've identified the best referral partners and I am in hot pursuit. So I've analyzed everyone's business and I created a probability formula and I feel like my best chances of connecting are with Shima and maybe Clara. I'm not sure if Elizabeth likes me. I hope to remain online for most of our communication. I tried to set up an hour long connection call with everyone and I dropped them care packages, but none of them seemed very interested. I really want to get to know them better, but I don't think Shima really likes me. It just plum broke my heart to see those ladies struggling like they did. So I decided to interfere with the experiment and lend a listening ear and a guiding hand. It's like my papa always used to say, you know, the only way to churn butter is with both hands. Hi, Elizabeth. Tell me, honey, how are things going? Well, terrible. Uh, no one's listening to my great ideas, and no one's coming to my event except for Clara, and she can only come for 15 minutes. Ugh, oh, my God. All these people talk so much about their personal lives and aren't serious enough about business. It feels really disorganized feels like there's no structure. I feel like no one's using my Google spreadsheet and no one seems to care about it. We're not listening to each other. We're not really working together. I really want to feel connected and I just feel so alone. You see, what these ladies were going through is not unlike what many women go through when they're transforming from old networking to new networking. They were all trying to network from an individual perspective in which their way of networking was the right way. As anyone who's ever had chickens before knows, when you have four chickens running them brown and running them muck every which way, there's nobody that's going to have chicken pot pie for dinner that night. Don't worry, ladies. I know that you're frustrated, but this is all part of the experiment. 
It's going to get better, okay? They all had to learn to work together to let go of being the only one who's right while being themselves and learning to honor each other. Elizabeth, did you know that Tiana is a genius with data and details? Have you tried asking her a technical question about her spreadsheet? Shima, did you know that Clara values personal connection more than anything? Try asking her to share a little bit about her business and her set. Tiana, did you know that Elizabeth is a genius at brainstorming and masterminding? She's really good at it. So you could ask her some questions about your business that you'd like to brainstorm. Clara, did you try to give Shima all the detailed information that she needs about your business so that she can send you the right kinds of referrals? So next, I gave them a task that would challenge them and encourage them to work together, not apart. At first, they were falling all over each other like a bunch of crickets hunting for the prey. We had a conversation about letting go of the old, outdated ways of networking. The things that I have learned don't work. I showed them how collaboration is queen. How to fix each other's crowns without letting anyone else know they were even crooked in the first place. We talked about the power of power partnerships and the results that those relationships provide. Like helping them advance as leaders getting them through the challenges they faced with much more ease and grace, growing their businesses, and enjoying themselves greatly in community. And then they all had great realizations to embrace their own unique archetypal qualities while learning how others thrive in collaborative relationships, leveraging each other's strengths and working together. They learned that they could stay upright just like the hands of time. I think you know what I mean. Okay, I can really see how the four of us make a super powerful pod. Ladies, you did so great. On the count of three, collaborate. One, two, three, collaborate. So sometimes building great power partnerships is a lot like playing Twister. We have to be flexible in our own style, adapt to different archetypes, and not get stuck in our own silly ways of doing things. We have to learn what we want from others and what they want from us and collaborate from that place. Because that's how we create a diverse, well-rounded dame's power pod. You see, if we can't communicate with one another and learn how to accept our differences, then we won't be able to find the commonalities that allow us to thrive in community. So I encourage you, dames, to harmonize those shadowy bits. We all have them. And embrace your shiny bits. Come together and link arms. Be each other's safety nets, just like when we used to come together in our neighborhood to raise a barn. Ah, the good old days. Oh, uh, we come together and we provide help where and when it's needed. Because times, they sure do get rocky. And it's best if we can be each other's allies and friends.